Okay, uh, final lecture, lecture 43 of game theory course. Here, we are going to have a, some situation, wild, wild west. Uh, there are new cowboy and old cowboy situation. So the thing is, there is a town where, which has an old cowboy who has been number one in gun shooting in the town and like fist fighting and everything. But then one day, a very like a strong looking new cowboy walk into the town. And then the new cowboy choose either beer or whiskey. Of course, whiskey is much stronger, beer is much weaker. Even though I cannot even uh, uh, drink beer, I, I like, like beer is too strong for me. But anyway, whiskey I heard is stronger than beer. The old cowboy, after watching new cowboy drink beer or whiskey, begin fighting with a new cowboy or like a don't fight, okay? The new cowboy may have two types, strong fighter type or weak fighter type. Weak fighter type, 10% chance, strong fighter type, 90% chance, okay? So like uh, generally, if, if the old cowboy's point of view, if you fight with Strong type, negative one, negative one. You are going to be defeated. If you don't, zero, zero. The weak type, don't zero, zero. Fight, you will win one and one. From new cowboy, if it's strong or weak, if you compare the first number, two is bigger than zero, three is bigger than one, three is bigger than negative one, two is bigger than negative two, which means not fighting is better for new cowboy, whether he is strong type or weak type. Okay? Of course, it's 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, because here it's going to win, but doesn't want to fight. So, like a peace-loving, strong guy. So don't fight each better, but each fight, it's not negative. But it's a weak guy, don't fight each better, but each fight, then it's negative. You will be defeated, the new cowboy. What is beer and whiskey has anything to do with that? The strong new cowboy loves beer more than but loves whiskey more than beer. So whiskey one, beer zero, whiskey three, beer two. The weak one loves beer more than whiskey, negative one, negative two, three and two. So generally, old cowboy want to fight the weak new cowboy but then cannot tell whether it's weak or uh, strong. The, whether it, you, the new cowboy is strong or not, he loves peace more than fight. So he want to avoid the peace. However, uh, the strong cowboy always prefer whiskey. Whiskey fight is better than beer fight. Whiskey peace is better than beer peace. The weak new cowboy, beer fight is better than whiskey fight, beer peace is better than whiskey peace. Okay, so basically the new cowboy can signal its type using beer and whiskey. Perfect Bayesian equilibrium, one of them. This has several perfect Bayesian equilibrium. One possible thing is new cowboy as strong new cowboy New cowboy W, weak new cowboy, both drink beer. Why? Let's see, this is a pulling equilibrium and let's assume that they are drinking beer. I mean, once again, the equilibrium is why do you do that? Like I, the, the equilibrium is from the Nash, there is something, then we check whether this is equilibrium or not. If it's equilibrium, yes. So I write down everything, let's check whether this is equilibrium or not. The belief is that if the new guy drink whiskey, that guy's probability of strong zero, which means if the new cowboy drink whiskey, the old cowboy automatically assume that guy is weak. The probability that guy is strong is zero, that guy is weak is one. Okay, same thing. If the new uh, cowboy drink whiskey, that guy must be weak. So the old cowboy fight. If the new cowboy drink beer, the new cowboy think, oh my God, he might be strong, 
with probability 90%, weak with probability 10% because everybody drink beer, then beer, strong 90%, weak 10%, we assume that here. So 90% chance strong fighter, I would, I would let or not fight because if I fight the strong guy, negative one, fight the weak guy, one, but it's like negative one multiply 0 0.9, one multiply 0 0.1, which would be negative 0 0.8. If I don't, it's zero. Zero is better than negative 0 0.8. Okay? So, this is a pulling equilibrium, perfect Bayesian equilibrium, and among them, this pulling equilibrium. Why? The new cowboy is not going to dare to drink whiskey because if he drink whiskey, the old cowboy think the new cowboy is weak and begin to fight. Of course, the strong cowboy would win, but still that is not as good as peace. So you are you going to drink whiskey and fight and get one? Or are you going to drink beer and avoid the fight and two? Two is bigger than one. Not to mention the weak type. He loves beer. So beer, three, whiskey, negative two. Of course, beer and don't fight. The fact that uh, they like don't fight, the weak guy cannot be better. The three is the best thing that can happen to him. Three, two, negative one, two. Of course, the strong guy can get three, but the equilibrium says if you drink whiskey, you have to fight and get one. Okay, I will not fight. I'll just settle with beer, second best, and get two instead of one. But it's just strange. I mean, you know, everybody know, the old cowboy know, the strong new, strong cowboy loves whiskey more than beer. And then the assumption that if you drink whiskey, you are weak. I mean, that is counter intuitive okay however don't get me wrong this oh one two three four five okay five things together there's no problem whatsoever that this is perfect Bayesian equilibrium which means the concept of perfect Bayesian equilibrium has a problem especially when in this game whether you are strong or weak, you drink beer. Nobody drinks whiskeys. So we think this situation, the new cowboy drinking whiskey in this equilibrium is probability zero event. Nobody will do it. This will never happen. But then the Bayesian update rule says, if something never happened, the belief is on your own. Whether it's zero, one, whatever, you can... Say you say it, that's it. So the Bayesian rule, updating rule of belief, give total exemption when it's a zero probability uh, event where everybody drink beer. What if somebody drink whiskey? Nobody will. So the belief at the time, the Bayesian rule doesn't apply. So do whatever you like. As a result, this strange thing, if someone whiskey to drink whiskey, it will never be a strong person. It would be a weak person. So what if new cowboy choose to whiskey in this time, in real case? The name for this is intuitive criterion, okay? That is improvement of perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Uh, I'm gonna just deep into it, tell you the, uh, this vague idea. Weak ones in this equilibrium, the weak, Weak cowboy get the best. It drink beer and don't fight. Three. So the new cowboy drinking whiskey, the best he can get is two or negative two. Why? I mean, so if so, the weak cowboy drink whiskey, if someone drink whiskey, thinking that it's a weak cowboy, as assumed here, like strong cowboy is not, which means weak cowboy is one, that is strange because weak cowboy now gets three and by choosing whiskey, it can never get better. What about new cowboy? 
is strong. The strong cowboy is now getting two. It drink whiskey, it may get one, but it may also get three. So the, if the cowboy is strong and like st stuck with this perfect Bayesian equilibrium, pulling equilibrium, it may thinking about trying the whiskey because it may get three, even though it may get three. So the strong cowboy may have, may improve its uh, uh, payoff from two to three by drinking whiskey. We cowboy, never. Three would become two or negative two. So thinking that when somebody drink whiskey, it's we cowboy, it's absurd because we cowboy cannot, has, has no, no possibility whatsoever to get better. On the other end, the strong cowboy has a possibility, at least possibility to get better. So the intuitive criterion says, I mean, if someone can get better by choosing whiskey, then we think the if the, somebody drink whiskey, we think it should be the type that can, that has possibility to get better, which means the strong type, because weak type can never get better. Its current pay of three, it goes only down. The strong type, its current pay of is two, it may get three. So this is wrong according to the intuitive criterion. Drinking whiskey, never be weak because we can never get by, better by whiskey from this perfect Bayesian equilibrium, but strong guy can get better. So we should keep one for strong guy instead of zero. So rewrite it. Now, if new guy drink beer, they think it's probability to get uh, be a strong guy is zero. Whiskey, it's a strong guy kind of thing. Okay, so the new I strong cowboy drink whiskey, weak cowboy drink whiskey. If somebody drink beer, it's not strong, it's weak. Therefore, the beer drinking guy, the old cowboy will fight. Whiskey drinking guy, the old cowboy wouldn't fight. So this is kind of symmetric of the previous uh, perfect Bayesian equilibrium, but this passes the intuitive criteria. We say passage, this pass the intuitive criterion, unlike the previous one, which does not pass the intuitive criterion. The intuitive criterion is other name is Cho and Krebs. Krebs is a famous professor in Stanford. Cho is a professor in Illinois, University of Illinois. Cho is, first name is Ingu. He's a Korean uh, game theorist, Korean economist. When I was college student, he have this Cho and Krebs criterion, equilibrium, and uh, at the time he was a star. Oh my God, Korean guy, and guy, he's, he's now old, but anyway, Korean person working with a Stanford professor and had an equilibrium with his name on. So Cho and Krebs intuitive criterion is interesting concept, but very meaningful for us because one of the author, Cho, is Korean person. Okay, thank you very much for your effort for this long semester. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some, somehow we can meet uh, outside of this. But then uh, most important thing is your health and my health. So sorry about Corona situation, but Hope that somehow you can understand, have a chance to understand game theory. Thank you very much. And see you again somewhere. Thank you. This has been the Professor Hans Game Theory and its application course. And it was the last lecture, lecture 43. Thank you. I really appreciate it.